This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, let's get right into it. So we got Brittany Renner, okay? Uh, I'm sure you're familiar with her. She's been linked to all your favorite stars, okay? Drake, everybody else. There's no proof about the Drake thing, but, you know. Anyways, she played PJ Washington, okay? <laughs> played him. Um... They have a baby together. This girl has been on the the gold gold digger bag chase <laughs> for years, and she finally found somebody to attach herself to and get that child support. Now, this is gonna this is people aren't gonna like this, but it's true. It's like. Twitter's already gone off on Brittany Renner for uh, breaking up with uh, PJ Washington. They just, they just had a baby together. This was her goal all along to get someone to take. To, there's no way Brittany Renner's 29 years old either. Okay, <laughs> no way. But anyways, uh, PJ Washington's 22. Okay, and. Uh, Seems like they might have... He says, you was faking it all along. Yes, she was, buddy. And you went for it. You were a sucker for love. This might have been his first, like, you know, time with a girl that knew what she was doing. And... <laughs> and he lost his mind. And she played him like a fiddle. Okay? She was showing up to the games. Um, You know, she was doing everything. Okay? playing them and guess what they had the baby that's her meal ticket right there okay he's definitely gonna be paying that child support this guy's crazy i mean you know what i don't i don't feel you know what pj it's it's it sucks man nobody nobody uh schooled him man i i, I feel bad for the guy because you know, if you're not, if you don't go through a couple situations when you're younger where you get played, we all get, come on, we all get played. I got played multiple times uh, in my 20s. Girls got, a couple couple girls got over on me. You know, they, they were more masterful. And you learn your lesson, you know, and girls, girls get over to, they, this goes both ways. Some girls get played by guys in their 20s, okay? I'm not just going one way, okay? And uh, you learn when someone's playing you and when it's real. You know, you want someone that really likes you, man. You know, for you. And not just as a come up. And I feel bad for him. But you know what? He paid the ultimate lesson because now he's got a kid with her. See, if he if he just, you know, he, you got to be with somebody for like two to three years before you're going to start a whole life with him like that. You know, he just had to learn the hard way. I almost had to learn the hard way, you know, like, but I didn't get to the stage where I was going to have a kid. The girl didn't play me completely like a fiddle, but we were together for three years. This girl in my 20s, she played me, man. Very good. She played mind games and everything with me. She was, she was a master. <laughs> she should run a master class on that. We all take losses, bro. All of us. And anyone who says they didn't take a loss... They ain't a boss. <laughs> um, she got the see. That's her collecting her duffel bag of money right now. She she might get back together with them for a little bit though, because maybe she just pulled the trigger too early. So this interview resurfaced from back in two thousand one, uh, Felon Street Magazine, and it was a promo run for Nas album. J Nas and Jay were having their beef at this time. Obviously, they're cool now. Okay, we know that. They've been cool for like 14 years. But there was a real struggle between Nas and Jay-Z around that time for who is king of New York. Now, obviously, both of these guys, Jay-Z felt a little more like the guy prior to this. Because think about it, he had Rockefeller, Beanie Siegel. You know, he had a whole team with him. Okay. They were, and Nas was Nas. Nas was doing his own thing, okay? Huge albums, okay? Jay Jesus felt a little bit more because he had a whole record label, okay? That's it. And Nas, prior to that, 
I don't care what anybody says in the comments. He was feeling vulnerable, okay? And uh, he dropped an album around 99. It didn't do as well as the last albums, and it wasn't as strong. Okay, I forget which album that was. That wasn't Nostradamus, was it? I, I can't remember which one. I just remember the feeling. Prodigy told me this, because Nas opened up to Prodigy around this time. And then on Nas's next album, Stillmatic, totally took it back, okay? Took took New York back, okay? He dissed Jay-Z. Um, every song was just amazing. Nas was back in full Nas fashion, which is like, come on, think about it. This is, I think this is Nas fifth album at this point right so think about it you do your first album Illmatic then, then you uh, it was written and then the two after that didn't weren't as strong as the first two because think about it Nas is Nas okay Nas is Nas you know there's still strong albums it's Nas but like he's the ego's there right so he had like a reality check around like, you know, 08, uh, I'm sorry, 98, 99, and then came back in 2001 with like, psh, back, right? So anyways, in this magazine, he's talking about a uh, conversation he had with Jay-Z. I don't know if this is like true. Maybe this magazine's Kevin, you know, but they say we were kicking it. And he told me he's better than Biggie now. Uh, he says, I looked at him like he's crazy. And then he started telling me Memphis Bleak was a fan and that I shouldn't go at him. He predicted that Beanie Siegel would never sell more than 600,000 copies. Uh, he said that sauce money to him was what nature was to him. Then he really got crazy. And he said Tupac and DMX weren't lyricists. They were just, they just had the, the hungry, st uh, starving street guys copping their stuff but me and him had all the money and uh, guys buying our albums I told him that I disagreed with him and that Tupac was the greatest ever period and that DMX really brought that street stuff back to the game now think about it Nas is also going through a beef with Jay-Z at this time so you know it was, it was different temperature Nas today would never say that you know Nas is more uh, Nas even after 2001 probably wouldn't have said this, right? Because, like, Nas had all his, like, weird... Like, you know, when he was going through the thing with Jay-Z, that's the thing when, like, the power and camera on thing happened. That was that, that four-year gap with Nas where Nas was just, like, wilding out, right? <laughs> In a good way, you know? But, um... It's interesting. I mean, but it's making headlines, but honestly, we don't know how true it is i don't know it's interesting though it was a different temperature back then then we got um this girl took a picture with koi laray and she said i look more like a she dissed her she's so she act like she's <laughs> she act like like she was a fan took a picture then used that picture to diss her she said i look more like a celebrity than her to be honest not the fit, just the face. And then y'all D sucking ode. I don't know, man. People are lost. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, obviously, Nas and Jay Z are like, you know, their goat status, you know? So n neither one's higher than the other. You get two different things from each one, you know, with. With Nas, you get straight, deep lyrics. And he really has, like, super deep messages. He's just more like a... He's like an artistic artist. When Jay-Z gives you the lyrics, but it's more like baller status, you know? Like, they give you two different feelings. Two very different feelings. So they're both necessary. Uh, anyways, guys... This is Jordan Tao with JT News, and I'll check you guys in the next one. I appreciate you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great day today. Make sure you try your hardest. Put your best foot forward. That's all you can do. And climb one step at a time. Don't try to get to the finish line right away. It doesn't happen overnight. It happens over time. But you do one step at a time, and you'll feel yourself taking little wins. 
And the little wins calculate to big wins. Okay? Just remember that. It takes time. Appreciate you guys. Peace.